Well, now we're live on the YouTube. Uh, I believe we're coming over to you on YouTube now. We were live sneak peek on Rumble. Um, sneak peek on Rumble oh, there, bad. folks. I didn't yeah. hit the blue button. It's all good. You know, yeah. you guys, th so that was all the alpha that we just dropped yeah. uh, over damn. on Rumble. Yeah, it was huge. The show um, is just for me. Yeah, C90, <laughs> audience, yeah. audience. C90 FTW <laughs> got the only snippet. Uh, damn it, Owen. Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> Owen, uh, he's out and about somewhere. Uh, he's going to be back on Thursday. So yeah. we'll be watching out for him. Bitcoin's been uh, absolutely rips on. We got some stories about Joe Biden coming in in the back door trying to get a new mining tax implemented on bitcoin Ooh, mining Biden. always doing that uh talking about the undocumented carnivores aka cannibals mm. taking over haiti uh fantastic times and uh just meme coin chaos in general really good times being had in crypto let's just take a gander at the crypto markets take a look at what we're looking at here uh bitcoin sitting at seventy thousand eight hundred dollars it did whipsaw down to mm -hmm. sixty eight thousand nine hundred <laughs> look at that Shaking off all the longs, all the shorts. We're going to call these Finks. Finks? These are Finks. This the, is Larry. Oh, that's a good idea. Just wiping out yeah. some longs like and some that. shorts. Finks, I like that. Um, and just that's my broad scope, I was, you know, I spent some time uh, basically looking at Bitcoin, particularly uh, yeah. to get a good scope of what I expect out of the Bitcoin bull market. Um, and if you pop up on TradingView, I don't know if I'm going to have all this information available mm -hmm. uh, of what I put together upstairs. But essentially, what I'm looking at here is I'm trying to wow. just get a good gauge on what to expect out of this bull market. This move uh, from the last halving that we had, I believe it was, um, was it May of 2020, I believe? Mm -hmm. uh, May of 2020 to the peak here, uh, it was just about 700% gain. Mm. Um, you know, where we're at right now, I mean, we are approaching the halving. It's coming up at April 20. We're ahead of schedule. We are ahead of schedule. Scary times. Um, this is uh, a, a, basically a situation where I am seeing uh, potential for Bitcoin actually hit about two hundred to two hundred and forty thousand dollars at the peak of the next bull market. Yep. Ooh, you're taking the thing. Yeah. yeah uh, okay. All right. There you go. Um, essentially, my reasoning for that. I mean, so we had the first having event for Bitcoin uh, pumped the Bitcoin price seven thousand percent from the time of the Bitcoin having. To the following peak, it seven thousand, seven thousand um, percent, and then the following one. Interesting. The time frame from that Bitcoin having to the peak was around. It was just under three thousand um, percent, and then the 2020, 2021 bull market it pumped it just shy of seven hundred percent. So okay, right now, you know, I'm trying to get like a, a good internal feeling, kind of reassessing what I expect out of the overall crypto markets at large i know you're kind of talking nick about a potential early ending hyper cycle to a hyper cycle early ending i'm still sticking to my guns on the may time frame but the hyper cycle yeah. I, I do agree that it's going to be a hyper cycle as far as capital it's it's funny because dz does not agree with me at all really some of the i was on a maxi bitcoin maxi x spaces um the other night mm -hmm. and um it was uh there was it was kind of topsy-turvy on okay. what they thought. Ran, Ran thinks that we're going to be slightly early, but not very much. Okay. So, okay. Beginning of April. Beginning yeah. of April, he's thinking. Yeah, he had actually his stream today on crypto, on a, I can't believe I'm pumping Rand's channel. His stream today on Crypto Banner Plus was actually really good. Was it? <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, that's it was fair. a good show. Uh, it's fine. To it was discover good crypto good alpha. and hit the bell. Yeah, I mean, I don't hate Rand. You know, I, some no, of the Rand's a good guy, but I mean, he's he's a huge YouTuber. So yeah, I mean, hey guys, watch Rand. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, essentially, like I'm feeling like we're gonna tap out on the overall Bitcoin market cap. I think that we're gonna accomplish four to five trillion dollars on the Bitcoin market cap that's all itself. see i think we're going way higher you think we're that. going way higher yeah, than yeah, that. yeah 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 i think we're doing more like um i think it's more like a 15 trillion dollar market cap we will surpass the gold market cap for bitcoin god that, that that's way higher than what i'm thinking yeah because, and i think the overall crypto market cap is going to hit 50 trillion well i mean i hope i'm wrong in the right way let's go to coin perspective because i was looking at a four trillion dollar um Market cap would land Bitcoin in the 200 to 250K per unit. Let's go here. God, let's just do some moon math just nice for when fun. This website actually works. I know. Um, it's been kind of rough lately. So we just got to custom type this in because this is extreme moon math. 
Um, but potential. Do, uh, just we're set to uh, 20x. See uh, right underneath your price target. Yeah, 20x. Yeah, so that's that. 30 That'd billion. Oh God. 30 trillion. 30 trillion, trillion dollars. 30 trillion dollars. <laughs> I don't think that's happening. <laughs> I'm more like a 10x. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's so. Yeah, I mean, you're looking at a uh, 700 thousand dollars. 600, 700 thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jeez. I mean, why not? This cycle. I think we're in that place where a sovereign nation or three is going to get in on the action. I mean, all the re all the statistics that we are going to dive into today on the scam of this deficit, uh, the deficit problem in the U.S. is going off a cliff. We have a lot yep. of data to paint that picture in a very clear and concise manner. Yep. You're talking about $15 trillion. My God, that would be absolutely disgusting, disgusting upswing i am much more bear i guess i'm bearish you're saying a bitcoin's no, at 200 250k I, I think that you're i think you're i think you've got the right mindset i think you're just not discounting the flight to quality that yeah. um larry fink was yeah describing i um, mean there's something that that's, that's uh, what you're saying i mean there's ability because we've never seen you know yeah. reaching new all-time highs before the halving yep We've never had billions of dollars in institutional money flowing in. Mm -hmm. We've never had Larry Fink shilling Bitcoin on CNBC. No. Um, and there's never been so many states that are looking to pass Bitcoin legislation, <clears throat> pro-Bitcoin legislation. Yep. Um, this graph might actually prove your point a little bit more. And I found okay. this, this is the most exciting graph I saw last night. This is Bitcoin on the monthly. Wow. Um, you know, take my ugly mug out of here for a moment so we can show oh. the back end of this. The, the most exciting thing to me is just looking at the past um Box out. these candles right here you know essentially in time frame you know comparison the having happened right about here prior to the last bull market cycle the velocity yep. of upswing on this resurgence before the having has even gotten here i know oh man it's uh i mean it's hard to argue against it but then the logic of the us dollar retaining power and putting monetary controls or financial controls on bitcoin because mm -hmm. it's the enemy if they realize bitcoin is that flight to quality then it's the enemy until they fully embrace it i mean that's where you know this uh this graph really doesn't you know it goes against what i'm saying i mean this shows the strong potential for a, a you know, a million dollar Bitcoin, 700K yep. Bitcoin, just from the size of these monthlies uh, before the halving is even here, there is some credence to the potential of what you're talking about. Um, you know, and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong in the right, right way and we make more money. So I guess I'll stick on that side of things. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? But yeah, uh, Nas had a really good um, point. He said El Salvador is already in. So that's one sovereign nation yeah. at least. Well, I, you know, there's you're talking about the Saudis this weekend. We and I really that. think Argentina is just going to make the move here pretty soon. Yeah. I was watching alone. They do it in Argentina. Oh, have oh, you yeah. watched the historic uh, history channel alone in no. Argentina? Is it, good? it is so good. It's so highly good. recommended. Highly recommended. Um, you learn something, yeah. you know, I like watching history channel. You always learn a little bit. So, um, interesting stuff to see. Now this is just the, uh, longs and shorts getting wrecked. Here's from Bitcoin Munger. The beatings will continue. till all the shorts go broke. The shorts starting to build up again at the current yep. levels we're at <clears throat> will be liquidated at 73 K. And there will be more squeezes this week. It is happening live time, as we shown at the beginning of the show. The uh, you know the barnacles are being shaken off the ship. As far as longs and shorts, both sides are getting absolutely finked. That's a new word. Finked getting is finked. Yeah, getting yeah. finked. That's gonna ha that's gonna Get take finked. fire. What about the meme coin Solana meme coin fink? Does it is, exist? Is it out yet? Uh, hold on. Okay, we can't go into meme coins yet. yet. Hold on. Not yet. Hold on. I'm gonna be hold good the today. Roll. Uh, Grayscale also filed for a Bitcoin mini trust with the ticker BTC. Product would provide Bitcoin exposure at a lower cost to their sixty-four dollar uh, GPTC ETF shares. So just a little bit more inroads being created through uh, Grayscale. Still fighting the good fight here. Wants to be part of the action. We had Van Eck eliminating their fees on Bitcoin ETFs. Wow. This is incredible to see. Um, isn't the timing a little convenient? It is. It ends on March of 2025. So 2025, I thought. 20, it, well, no, this the the fees, I believe they're held off until March of 2025. Uh for Van Eck. Um, so you know, I am watching that time frame. That's maybe, you know, they're trying to time out the top of it. But um, you should you should check and see when that exactly ends. I was thinking because of the doomsday clock. 
Oh, the it doomsday started clock yesterday and the BTFP. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that is opening up uh, an outroad for uh, major investment agencies. No fees going through ETFs uh, through VanEck and not have to be stuck in, you know, bank funds. Maybe, maybe that is a connection. There's a lot of things that happen on March 11th. Um, and really, we're not going to see mid-size smaller banks go down until, uh, you know, probably about a month from now, maybe a few weeks mm. from now. The pain yeah. has to really settle in. So, you know, we got that. Drew, please look at, they're shilling me all kinds of things in the rumble chat. That's out of control right uh, now. They're getting out of hand. What do we got? Trump <laughs> with hat, please, Drew. Trump with hat. Maybe we'll get to that in the meme coin section. There's a lot of meme coins that are looking pretty damn juicy mm -hmm. uh, right now. So, yeah, we'll be getting into that. Bitcoin ETFs will hold over 10% of Bitcoin supply at this rate by quarter three of 2024. I hate so, that. Yeah. This is our capture happening in live time. That's yucky. Um, so this kind of velocity, you know, again, playing into the hypercycle theory, but then we get rich and we don't have uh, any vehicle available for capital flight if this continues to go. There's down always this Litecoin. There's Litecoin. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, you know, just we are fully captured. Um, it's probably going to make everyone rich that's here in the uh, crypto sphere right now. But my God, we got to fight for our rights on the local level to retain those yep. in the future. Um, this analysis is contingent to the applications of the Ether spot ETFs in the U.S. being rejected in the coming weeks. That's, I actually disagree with that. I think that they're going to get approved still. Um, chaotically as it may be, I know a lot of people are thinking not. Yeah, we've been told by some crypto insiders yes. that it's going to be approved here. Yeah, uh, in March. Yeah. So, you know, just you've got $4,000 Ethereum right now. Just freaking wait. Um, this could be exacerbated by the fact that Ether is deflationary while Bitcoin supply continues to grow, although the rate of growth will decrease in the following April having. God, this is Johnny highlighting it. He's such an ETH lover. He loves, loves, loves his ETH. Uh, Bitcoin has already posted strong gains as a result of the demand that is flowing through the spot ETFs and the world's first ever crypto is currently trading just under $72,000 as of the time this was written. Well, vol uh, volatility has had something to say about that. Now we're at 71,000, but really not a big deal. What a beautiful day when I get to say Bitcoin crashed down to $70,000 my God, mm. like, you know, and it was just a few weeks ago. I mean, so this is the seven day. This is a one week ago. We were at $64,000 and here's you, you have, Nick. We're going to see this head and shoulders calls right here. You know what I mean? You're looking at that. Um, oh yeah. And that one, that mic is like, uh, I think it's input seven on the actual uh yes yeah i believe actually no this one right here is number three closest to you that blue one so hannah i believe is number four um but oh. look at this we're gonna get a bunch of head and shoulders calls a, a couple more shorts from gareth probably out of this uh what is he doing chart. what is gareth doing actually what <laughs> is defending doing? his honor is what he's <laughs> doing like he said you hear this oh. dumb stuff he said about satoshi yes i did he's like what if satoshi just like pops up and and changes out something yeah. we have like, 21 more million bitcoin yeah. yeah and then his shorts will work that's nice. what he said um <laughs> you know the ponytail is constricting blood flow i've been saying it, it for years it is uh this is where the head and shoulders uh calls will foment when we sit here and range in this spot for a moment uh here's the monthly on it really Gee, just what? insane like guys a month ago we were happy to be at forty eight thousand dollars. we were happy at yep. almost half the value that we have right now. So, you know, just things are happening quick. <clears throat> I know that a lot of people are thinking that this is, you know, the abbreviated bull market cycle. I completely disagree with that. I think that, uh, you know, it'll be shortened to a degree. Now, if it's shortened as deep as Nick is saying to the end of 2024, or if I'm right and we're somewhere in March to mm -hmm. May, if we're both employing those uh, DCA in and out, tactics yep. then it's really not that bad and um you know like yesterday i had some bills that i had to pay and you know i don't keep fiat around I, all my value is in crypto so you know paying bills and comfortably with crypto gains um and then buying things with crypto gains buying this little outbuilding with crypto gains i don't feel bad for it at all i'm mm. improving my life actively in crypto and uh you know i won't be sad if everything goes to hell tomorrow because i've improved my life already with what i've done so Amazing. just, you know, keep that in mind. Like everyone's trying to time the exact top. 
the exact bottom. You got a ladder in, you got a ladder out. Yep. Um, you know, physically change your existing with it. It's nice to be rich on, you know, these phones, these apps that we have, and it shows all these digits. But if you don't actually put that into play, pay off your house or build upon your house, buy a vehicle, hmm. you know, just experience it. Your life can absolutely change from this. Alone yeah. is a great show word sister out there in rumble in land rumble. to see we're, you we're looking at rumble chat today guys. i know we okay. got it bigger this today okay well, smash that like button we're only at 57 likes yeah we need to up That's these trash garbage. we got to up these numbers uh jp morgan says he'll defend our right to buy bitcoin oh thanks bud yeah like it's your choice like to i want say. a banker to defend my rights <laughs> right he just is admitting defeat this is what it is uh, you know, JP Morgan, Jamie Dimon said that despite his reservations towards Bitcoin, he would still defend people's rights to purchase the asset if they wish. I'll defend your right to smoke a cigarette. That's not your fucking business either. And I'll defend yeah. your right to buy Bitcoin. So neither of these are this banker's business. He really thinks he's like a big deal. Yeah, well, he is a big deal. He was Jeffrey Epstein's banker and uh, got away with it. So obviously the government and, doesn't give a damn. And he took away Kanye's bank account. And he took away Ye's Isn't bank account. Isn't that a funny yeah. little coin yeah. keeping? Yeah, Epstein. And <clears throat> last time he talked about crypto, he said this was going to, or not last time, but a few months ago, he said that was going to be the last time he talked about crypto because yep. he was yeah. tired of talking about it. And he ain't And then done. on March 12th, he said, I will defend your right. That's to buy crypto he's losing we're in the clear guys we're yeah. in the clear he's losing so we win yeah we already won this uh finance a lot this guy <laughs> this is idiot oh zero dollar with more of the membies what? Ba, 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 ba. Wow. i wish i could uh, get a stick so i could hit the thing um i need a gong <laughs> a, a gong free membership <laughs> gong that we hit <laughs> Uh, crypto after dark jake what's up man uh safe to say crypto miner collapse has begun saying that marathon digital holdings is going to collapse from this point on i think you're wrong buddy um he's just calling out a two percent uh, or actually a 12 percent two point shave off on marathon digital holdings uh you know it's going to take a breath nothing goes straight up and uh to the right forever i think you're dead wrong about this finance a lot you call a lot of things out that i agree with but this I just completely disagree with talking about pumping crypto miners makes sense because the profitability gets massacred in five months when the halving occurs. For now, Bitcoin is rising in anticipation of the halving, making minor, minor profitability rise as well. Then the rug gets pulled and it takes six to 12 months to get back on track. Yeah, but mm. if the price of Bitcoin doubles by then, then the profitability there it is. is the same. There it is. Math. No kidding. Straight huh. up math. Yeah, and this, he's very traditional <laughs> finance. This is a guy that basically just wants, he's kind of like how Trump was. He just wouldn't yeah. even talk about, yep. you know, Bitcoin. He wants dollar hegemony, uh -huh. um, you know, which is very idiotic. You want to just make sure that the public around you can't escape. That's all he knows. Yeah, very disgusting. Um, so we're moving on. I'm actually making it through uh, stories pretty fast today. Drake posting about Bitcoin, but I don't care because he paints his fingernails. So the rest uh, of, yeah. the, but this is where normies come in, you know, and I have when, to acknowledge. When men with painted fingernails start. And there's a lot of crypto. men with painted fingernails. Yeah, Why that's did he post that? Incredibly what? Incredibly well, He's bearish. a Bitcoiner. You know, he likes crypto. He just posted Michael Saylor on Bitcoin. Line. Yeah. I mean, that's cool. You know, I mean, cool, bro. You Campaign know. Campaign poppy. Please stop posting pictures of your dick online and painting your <laughs> How fingernails. How many followers does he have on it? Oh, we can't look. Millions. I'll look. Oh, Let yeah, me like look. Yeah, he five has million so or something many. like that. Yeah, I mean, and he has that cult file uh, following, you know, he's almost yeah. like the uh, Beatles of our age. Like, I went to a concert. No. You went to a concert? I went to his concert in Atlanta. Well, was it good or terrible? It was great. mediocre. It was great. It was great. Love, love Drake. Shane what was it? What was great about it? Um, I'm it, it was a curious. good show. It was a good show. Yeah. Okay. He put, Fair enough. Puts on a good, entertaining. Well, I he has 146 right. million followers. 146 oh, million. Yeah. Jesus. See, my bad. What's that? I, I didn't know he was that big. Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty big account. He's huge. Um. Yeah. God. Co uh, what? Crody is Drake's cat on Solana. Jesus. Here we go. It just keeps going. We get what we deserve. Yeah. Um, here's Joe Biden hopping in. U.S. president again proposing crypto mining tax wash sale rule for digital assets and new budget. He did try this same BS uh, mm -hmm. last year. Failed miserably. Thank God. Yep. Um, this is Uncle Joe trying to convince us to pay more taxes so he can fund his buddy in Ukraine. President Joe Biden will once again pitch wash trading rules, crypto mining tax, and other regulations in his proposed budget for the upcoming year. Taxes on the administration suggest it could generate nearly $10 billion in 2025. 
and north of $42 billion over the next decade. I wonder, I love how they're just, oh, this could generate a bunch of money crushing an innovative technology that's mm. trying to bud out of the United States. Let's make sure we can crush it so we can pay for more uh, extended wars that we have no chance in winning, but we just continue the profit game for Lockheed Martin and Lidos in the process dumping tons of money into the military industrial complex and the medical industrial complex, which is not done. They just had round one with their large IQ test that they pulled off in 2020. The budget saves billions of dollars by closing other tax loopholes, overwhelmingly benefit the rich and the largest, most profitable corporations. Just so happen to be Bitcoin mining, uh, the only chance we have at financial sovereignty left, but that is quickly leaving as it's being captured by BlackRock. God, there's so much to unpack in today's world. I just, my mind goes in, you know, like we had a chance. We had a chance. Oh man, we let the wolves in. Uh, it, this includes closing the so-called like-kind exchange loophole, lets real estate investors defer tax indefinitely, reforms to tax preferred retirement incentives to ensure that the ultra wealthy cannot use these incentives to amass tax-free fortunes. Does he define what the ultra wealthy who they are no he doesn't you know oh, that, wow. that, and really when the uh trump and like i said i ranted against trump yesterday but when he did do the corporate tax cuts i was a headhunter that was little tied hand in mouth to the hiring industry and the employment rate in the united states and i crushed it i made more money than i've ever made at my yep. job during those tax cuts because the corporations opened up their books. They felt more comfortable mm. they, with the new tax setups and people directly benefited from it. So when I hear this argument that cutting those taxes on these corporations means nothing and that they just consolidate that wealth, that's wrong. I lived it, I was there in the trenches hiring and things turned very, very green for a few short-lived years. And here we are, uh, find ourselves eight years later, uh, surrounded by Uncle Joe wow, and wow. his uh, disgusting moves against our last wow. chance for sovereignty. So pretty disgusting. I hope this gets shot down by Congress as well, uh, because, you know, honestly, they can kiss my ass. They owe me basically my entire life's worth of tax dollars that I'm giving to them back because the only thing that they've done is try to guarantee that my son has to go fight World War III for their uh, cohorts across the world. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's not settling. I'm kind of pissed about it. I can tell. Yeah. Uh, Stay kind with of your chest. Um, kind of pissed about it. What do we got here? Vaseline covered Trump refuses TikTok stance after getting into skincare. Breaking news. Reverses. My God. I just saw this yesterday and I thought it was hilarious because of you, how you were mad that he changed his viewpoints on the flu flu season situation because the election's coming up. You know, I saw this yesterday. Like it's literally a picture of, of Trump covered in Vaseline, and it says Vaseline covered Trump reverses his stance on TikTok after yeah. getting into skincare because they're like he's learning about skincare. It's, that's, you know, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. He's like, vote for me. I'll keep TikTok. Well, you know, something <laughs> broke. I don't know if I want to play this because it'll probably get me banned, but heart failure is being reported to be up by 973% for Navy pilots right now, year over year. So, so why would that happen? Uh, because they got injected with experiments. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, oh, yeah, that. Um, you know, and this is another whistleblower coming out with the information. I, you know, we won't play it. But yeah, I mean, we are getting meme coin level numbers out of our heart failure reportings for Navy pilots right now. Yeah, because pilots have stress. In Extreme their heart. stress. <clears throat> Extreme <clears throat> stress. You yeah. know, um, just really disgusting standpoint for this country to be taken. Uh, hopefully it dies where it started. Uh, 30% tax on Bitcoin mining means a backdoor ban on Bitcoin mining. In essence, in the long term, if you really back up, it takes a lot of its financial incentives away. We will aggressively oppose this attempt at targeted discrimination without hesitation, says Dennis Porter. It's probably going to take a lot more than that. Um, you can oppose these systems at large with no hesitation. And, you know, you find yourself very alone when the push comes to shove, yep. we are still a weak country. So we need to grow a bigger spine. And exactly, two bros mining. They can't pass an audit. Remember when they started the audits? That was uh, the first audit that they found that they couldn't pass. 2001. 2001. Oh, really? Yep. Uh, hmm. Pentagon lost a couple trillion dollars. Yep. And then... The day before 9-11. Day before 9-11. And all of a sudden, for the next 20 years, we're talking to each other about the Patriot Act. And yeah. to come together as a country, right? Yeah. Patriot Act, NSA, right? That's amazing how these things happen. And what's happening now? <sighs> yeah, I mean, what's well, an expansion on that? And now they're looking at the, you know, TikTok ban. We have the NSA, I don't think, is even scratching the surface of the systems that are truly 
in play in the background no. right now. You know no. what I mean? Yeah, the TikTok ban is absolutely absolutely a Trojan horse to yeah. ban Rumble and X. Yeah, exactly. Oh and these God. are the last spots we have left. That's yep. terrifying. Yeah, oh. that's that's no, why they want to do it. Yeah. Here's a shout out to just the real taxes going on in the background. Our debt is increasing by one trillion dollars every 136 days. Actually, that's up to every 100 days at this level, which means your family's share of debt is increasing by ten thousand dollars every 136 days. Just tax the rich. We'd have to tax one million millionaires a million dollars each every 136 days. Just to break even. Just to break even. Just to cut just to cut the cheese right now. And this is a great comment to this from Kyle R. Hudson. Repeal the Federal Reserve Act and the 16th Amendment. Taxes are deficits the same thing. Uh, they are the only two ways to pay for spending. You either take it out of a family's current earnings or you take it out of their future earnings by borrowing it. A deficit is a future tax and is paid for in two ways. Either you borrow it from the capital markets, then that reduces the amount that's available to make for our customer loans and have to be yep. paid back through future taxes, or we simply print that money, which produces inflation. So uh, Dang, this dude. it's it's getting ugly. It's a rock and a hard place. I know. You know? I know. I'm, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but um, this is just another chart that really paints that picture in the clearest of forms. And this is where the insane anger that I feel for people like Jamie Dimon is like, oh, okay, I'll allow you to have this escape out of pure and true guaranteed death of your buying power. Uh, scariest chart I've ever made from Robert Sterling is what it looks like when the country is headed towards a financial precipice. Each color shows $1 trillion getting added to the national debt. And not that long ago, it took six years to add $1 trillion. We're now adding $1 trillion every 90 to 120 days. Absolutely incredible. And this is just, you know, it is not... Show us the chart. Yeah, well, this, and before I do, this is not just Republican or Democrat. This is both it's administrations. Both. It's both. Both, both administrations. So here is a good explanation. Well, well, we will. Get my ugly face out of the way. Hey, let's get let's, ugly face let's, out of here. Let's adore this gorgeousness here. So, Oh, my gosh. $6 trillion uh, budget overall, you know, right here. The deficit net, $6.2 trillion. Goes up to $7 trillion right there. And just the ladder up exponentially increasing look at covid right here look at the flu season there is an insane wow. amount of printing and uh, adding to the deficit yeah. that had happened there it's not slowing down you guys this is the clearest way to visualize how fast this country and its buying power are falling off of a cliff this is why when i talk about how much do you have in crypto? It's literally everything. It's outside of real estate, guns, and my garden, and things that I need to pay for in and out. Um, I am doing everything I can to yep. escape this nightmare scenario. Yep. You also need salt and uh, water catchers. Salt is the first currency. Salt is the first. I'm big into salt. I'm long on salt. Yeah. So, yeah, if, when the boog happens. the boog, We need to get some radios. I got to pull up the radio that I that I told okay. you to buy. Um, God, how do you spell it again? Uh, Yason. Hang on, we got this is this is a this is a Y A E S U N. Yason. S U N F F T sixty. This is the one. This, this is, the, is one. the one. So, um, boys and girls, this is the radio. Do you want this? Uh, yeah, ham radio outlet. That's fine. One hundred fifty four dollars. That's mm. a pretty good price. I've got mine for one thirty five off of like gigaparts dot com. Yeah. This is a great transceiver radio. It lets you, um, it's basically like a, a handheld ham radio, although it's not a ham radio. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an FM transceiver, five watts. Um, yeah, this is what you want when the boog happens. It I allows to you to communicate. Uh, it's got a pretty a, a couple miles of range, but when uh, emergency services and cell phones are overwhelmed, mm -hmm. when those um, are not functional anymore, all the government agencies have default uh, short band radio yeah. Uh, towers and different um, stations. So you can stay on in touch. They, uh, they have, the weather service has it as well. You can stay in touch and keep abreast of what is going on around you, in addition to communicating with all the other beautiful people who are going to be on these radios, including yep. Drew and myself. Yep. And we, you know, we just need to come up with this. What you got, the, Hannah? What's the difference in that and a satellite phone? A uh, satellite phone is amazing and incredibly expensive. Yeah. And you have to pay for the satellite phone coverage. Oh. 
So satellite phones are cool. This thing is $154. A satellite phone, I think the cheapest one is like 500 bucks. It's not cheap. But this, the senators all got them. And the Last service year. is very expensive. Yeah. So we need, I need to redo my radio stash. I went to charge uh, them up. They did not work again. Yeah. The, so. the Balfangs kind of suck. Two Bros. Mind no. says, do you need a license to transmit on that? <laughs> Technically, yes. yes. But during the boog, no one's going to. I know. Like, who's no going to be checking care. if the world's on fire, bro? Yeah. Um, you're you're going to be fine. Yeah. I need to update this. Now, Nick, we also need to get you on safari land i think dude the safari land or um cheaper than dirt uh no well cheaper than dirt's not that great uh t-rex arms t-rex arms um i'm just going to show you this one i really think everyone owes it to themselves if you do carry to get a level two or above uh in the waistband iwb yeah, yeah. i think that i mean this is what i use this is yours is chunky though well it's not that chunky it's a thick though. boy I mean, I'm a thick boy these days, and you, what it does... All is, my pants are so tight and schvelt so I can show well, but you would assets. look Well, yeah, you would be even more of an asset. But it wouldn't even fit. Oh, That's come what I'm on. saying. Like, my jeans are too... You could make it fit. My jeans are too thick. <laughs> I think this or T-Rex arms. Let's go to T-Rex arms. The, yeah. You are right, though. This is chunky, but the nice thing about this... Um, I'll go here. So this clip, yep. you can actually... Your belt goes under that, and yep. it really works well with uh dressing up making sure that you know if you have like a button-up shirt okay and you still want your stuff yeah. um this can be right on the front and no one notices this little tab no one pays yeah. attention to that little tab t-rex arms we're going there we're doing some live research guys i'm talking about the collapse of the u.s society. we need a sponsor from one of the, we need a sponsor from safari land i actually was gonna send an email we to should get them. uh palmetto state armory uh, dude i would love a, a sponsorship P from we, we want psa yeah. as a sponsor for this channel so. t-rex is great i really like okay. them uh, oh, i like these they are car. thinner profile which is nice okay they have a nice sidecar setup i uh have a sidecar going right now in my gym shorts yes um I'm so aware. you know always have a side piece here and this do they have it for the smith and wesson oh i'll bet you you're darn tootin they do come on now go so um, click back on that one inside the, all right you want to try click, this one yeah and then just do from the drop down yeah let's see of course they got smith and so what so you the, got what's the, the m and p 2.0 now mine's well yeah mine is a 2.0 all right then mine's here we go okay model what do it's we got the i think mine's the subcomp no mine's the full probably the full 4.2 no light yeah. all right no light and no. you are right-handed yeah a hundred dollars i mean but you're paying for the quality here i yeah, know yeah, this yeah. is painful I get it. I get it. It's like fine. when i when i was still getting into it uh many years back i was trying to skimp and pay the 30 dollars the 40 dollars for the holster even if it was codex it's not worth it yeah. you guys when you live with the thing on your hip you want quality, you want comfort, um, and it's going to be right next to your nads. Hey, look at that. <laughs> what an amazing transition. It was We're great. professionals. Uh, we do have a code if you are looking to protect your nuts code from... Basement. I'm wearing them right now. Are you really? What's I'm the wearing the nads. report this is, back? Uh, day four of wearing nads. Okay. I, again, <laughs> these are very high quality undies. Yeah? Very high quality underwears. I like that. Uh, very soft, uh, but also grippy in all the right ways okay um so yeah i mean look guys if you don't want toxic junk microplastics next to your junk formaldehyde get nads and look they're they're not cheap these this is yeah. high quality but you know what so is your pp yeah so I mean, come on yeah come on guys it's, uh, mine are mine are the dark blue you got the dark blue pair? I got the dark blue. I wonder they're which very, ones are sending quality. us i'm excited to see which ones they are, are sending, sending us. us some freebies I, okay. I have a feeling just i i'm after after having worn underwear for a long time, mm. these are going to last upwards of ten years. So what? Yes, and you do get uh, I think ten percent off if you use code Basement. That's right. When you go to Nads N A D S Under dot com, appreciate them for supporting us. Yeah, and that's the same thing. You got to support local smaller companies. Yes, support yes. T Rex Arms. You know, Safari Land. Yeah, we don't have an affiliate code for that. No, Safari Land I like though too. Because um, it's basically like standardized when I was on armed rolls to have Safari Land level two, level three holsters. So I do recommend gear. that. Yep. Um, underwear Alpha, thumbs down. <laughs> you know. do not. You, you are uncultured. That's that's for your own. <laughs> you, you you messed up, yeah. Anthony. You messed up. Uh, two Bros Mining says, "Yeah, first time you use your radio shouldn't be when S hits the fan." 
correct. So get familiar with your radio beforehand. Just listen mm-hmm. in. There's a bunch of repeater stations. You don't have to put other... the transmission yeah, out. Yeah, just don't press the button. Yeah. And even if you do press the button once or twice, no one's. They, they, it's not like they're going to be able to find I you. I knew some guys that were pressing the button playing Airsoft uh, for yeah. years on end, <laughs> and they never heard a damn yeah. thing. So, yeah. you know, big, scary, you know, three-letter agency couldn't come get you for pressing the button and talking. Okay. Bob Let's think about how effective government agencies are, really. Yeah. Uh, what do we got here? AVAX memes to the moon. Yes, the Trump on AVAX doing really good. God, there's so many meme Guys, coins. we can't get into meme coins oh. until we get 100 likes. Yeah, so yeah, yeah need, that's right. That's a good at, point. We're at 93. Yes. Uh, let's get with it, folks. Also, subscribe to the channel. Uh, for all the new people that are here mm-hmm. that are finding us, go ahead and just subscribe to the channel. We make a bunch of awesome content. We cover, it's all about self-sovereignty here. Okay. Yep. We're self-sovereignty over your mind, your body, um, and, uh, your money. But so this yeah. Is like I was thinking about over the weekend, it's like a marriage of like it is a marriage. blockchain and Patriots. If Patriots yeah. realize the power of blockchain, the system of control that I sit here and rant about every day is doomed. Quickly doomed. Quickly if, doomed. If you yeah. all can get this message to the patriots that actually love and care for this country and love and care for their families, and they can realize the strength that we have in capital flight through Bitcoin and even shit coins. We can yep. make protests out of shit coins. We can. Like Elizabeth Horn, right? Um, that music tag's brought up. Yep. This is our new power. This is the power of capital flight. We need to show this power to the patriots in a clear and concise way. And I thought about that long and hard over the last week. I really feel like that's the path I'm yep. going down. It's the hill I do uh, have availability and open heart to die on yes. that hill. Look, so. guys, Bitcoin is inherently right wing. Yeah, that doesn't mean you have to be inherently right wing. But if you want to be crypto, if you want to be outside the system, yeah, uh, if you want to be based, be here in the basement with us. A uh, username formerly known as GB mm. says, "Need a guns and crypto show." That's this channel. Dude. Basically, you know, that's this channel. Which that is. I think there's a niche for that. I we think. should put my gun chair back behind here. Remember I had yeah. this, the throne of ARs, you know? Well, YouTube has loosened up their pew-pew rules mm-hmm. uh, for content. So, like, go, the guys on Grand Thumb, I don't know, yeah. do you watch that? Oh, I love Grand Thumb. Yeah, Grand yeah. Thumb. So, they do all sorts of crazy stuff. There's no reason why we couldn't have, you know, we our should. own attainable firearm. Maybe we could hang your, uh, was it a Mosin? My Mosin, yeah. Yeah, we should put your Mosin up here. We should have my There's Mosin. things. Let us know in the chat what we should hang up. We got some options yeah. here. Board Ape Yacht Club, oh. not doing well. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> there is no bomb. Womp womp. Uh, Board Apes and other Yuga Ethereum NFTs are shedding value. If we go here to Magic Eden, just to check in on the price, I'm Good curious. Lord. This is rough. Uh, this is rough stuff to see. 13 ETH. It was 14 when I, before I came down here to run the show. Wow. This was at 14. This is a fast, fast move to the downside, which I is... I could pr- almost you? afford one of these. Are you going to get one? No. no. I've, I'm in a weird place now, Drew. We, we can yeah. talk about this later. But We are in a weird place. I... I financially am in a weird place right now. So. We're both in a weird place. I'm, I mean, I basically have no fiat and enough uh, crypto to pay off half my house, and I still will not do it. I mean, I am so incredibly cash poor right now, but like, <laughs> I'm doing fine in crypto. I'm not going to say I'm like, I'm not like NFT Nick yeah. levels of, you know, like going to a helipad rich, but I'm. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> Yeah, I could like take I could take six off I could take off six months of work and be like okay. Yeah, I mean we are there, but you know we're trying to fight for our kids' future. We have a longer I know. term. I mindset. got a long ways to go. You know, I got a long ways to go. And you know that's winning, but not winning enough because exactly. of the problem that we just talked about. So um, I'm it, like right now we are dumb money winning. Dumb money if we winning. Were, if we were like low testosterone pussies, mm. we would cash out right now, mm-hmm. but we're not. And we're watch the rest it. of the market. Just and watch the rest behind. of the market. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, cry working at McDonald's, <laughs> be the real meme of the McDonald's yeah. NPC. Yeah. Uh, but we God damn. Could take profits, but what if it to next? I've been taking profits. That's I, I did talk about that. I've been, uh, I took, Why does this POV always screw up? No, oh, I don't know. Well, it's I, her. It's, it's her. No, I, I reset I it too. Well, um, I'm crying. Hold on. Do we think the apes will go back up? I don't think so. Do you? <sighs> they're kind of played out. I Ooh, think they're kind of played, played out. out. I've, I've always wondering. thought 
that apes were going to have a fall off because they've always just been over overvalued, overhyped. Nobody really like. Oh damn. Mm-hmm. I mean, because I'm a pudgy penguins fan. That's well, true. The yeah. pudgy penguins were very undervalued for a long time when the apes were selling for way too much, and I was like, these are gonna die. Pudgies are gonna take over. Other projects are gonna pass them. Yep. But I think they're always gonna be classics. Mm. Like imagine in ten years, yeah. somebody with an ape. It's going to be like, damn, you have an ape. You have an ape. I feel the same way. But I think there's too many for him to be valuable ever again. I, th- I feel the same way about a crypto punk. Yeah. Like, yeah. no one's clamoring for a crypto punk, yeah. but it's cool to have. Well, yeah. that FaZe Banks guy. The people of FaZe Banks got a crypto punk. They're yeah. still worth a lot of money. How much are they worth? Uh, let's, let's check a lot. it out. Banks just bought a very expensive one. Let's see. I know. He was uh, after the zombie or something like yeah, that. Yeah, starting his vlog 50 back up. Oh, my God. Yeah. No, these are God like these damn. are these are like uh, luxury compared to board Apes, in my opinion, right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But well, board Apes trying to the video games? I think punks and apes are always going to be classic. But we, apes did the video Video games like yeah, crypto punks didn't do video games, or, and, and it did you know suck. who's coming out with the game today? I put this in the Slack. Who's yeah, that? oh god, Pixelverse. Pudgy. Pixelverse. Well, it's actually Sappy Seals, but it's like an open world. Oh, I You're gonna it. have yeah. to pull it up it because awesome. it just looks way cooler. So like, here's the thing: than yeah. the ape first. We're going. They in. had. They had. Where we they had here? money to put into the ape other side. Yeah, and Hannah, it was you got to get in on the Discord, girl. Yeah. We need Han- yeah. Hannah needs her own channel. Oh my god, that's right. I'm hopefully gonna stream this today. This is at like six PM. If hold on, can you scroll up? Can we watch yeah. the video like so fast? All right. We're turning the sound PC on. audio on. on. Yeah, yeah. All right, here you are good. Move your mic away. This looks like The Simpsons, Hit and Run, which I played when I was a kid. This is like Pokemon or like um, Animal Crossing. Explain what's going on here. All right. Pause Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. (laughs) Azuki, Milady, Seals, Penguins. Uh, the Utes, D Gods, Mog, Pepe. If you're in any of these Taproot Wizards, mm, uh, oh, wow. what is that? Apes in the back? I don't know. That's, that's an ape. That's yeah. A so if you're yeah. in any of these ecosystems, you have access to this game. The demo is coming out tonight at like 6 p.m. I'm hopefully going to stream it. Hannah Hughes really? on Twitch. And yeah, I think this is just way cooler than the other side. Anything that they ever did. And this is nobody even really knows wow. about this. What the hell? Nobody knows about this yet. Unless okay. you're a part of one of okay. those communities. <sighs> Which very bullish on every one of those. Sappy seals look like they're going to be a thing, too. Yeah. I think uh, yeah. there's a lot of hype about sappy seals. I really, I worry about the board ape. I saw this as well. It just keeps getting worse. It's that, by the way, is Pixelverse ticker P I X L. That is like all of them. That's the sappy seals token. That is going to be big this run. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Pixelverse. Pixel, Pixelverse okay. and the penguins and the seals. And I mean, these the board ape people got to find somewhere to lean to. Like this is this came out of serious NFT a couple months ago. A fresh wallet spent twenty five hundred ETH buying one hundred and six apes, down nine hundred and fifty ETH. Ew. Or three point nine million dollars in fifty nine days, two months. Amazing. At current prices, he while cracked ETH, the code. Yeah, and ETH has gone up by seventy percent. He cracked the code on how to lose money during a bull run <laughs> at hyper speed. At, at hyper speed, <laughs> like at scale. <laughs> like this, this guy figured rough. it out at scale. <laughs> how to lose money? Oh my god, this is interesting too. I saw um, Chirply coming out. This is like a social platform. Yeah. Um, it has a pretty, uh, interesting take on it. You can kind of customize your campaigns, what your campaign budget is. Wait for what? Um, what you know, campaign? for social media campaigns, you know, on like Twitter, uh, Instagram, it looks like it plugs into all really? of these different, uh, locations. So this is for a web three campaign. It's, uh, I I'm mean, a little lost at the beginning. It's a, it's, it is a web three company, but they're trying to basically okay. set up, uh, easy, uh, campaigns with flexibility and brands would be able to basically use the social media platforms for one campaign, allocate the budget in different por- portions between each platform, and then set those influencers' uh, preferences by their size, even targeting demographics, uh, you know, within each different social media platform. Interesting. We There's kind reach- of pinpointed advertising. Yeah, we should reach out to them as a sponsor. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm finding this kind of interesting. I checked yep. into a little bit. I'm going to be watching out and see about Chirply as it rolls out as oh, well. Man, we got to get to the meme coins, dude. We oh have 110 God. likes. We have so That's enough Holy of this. God. Okay. We're, we're going only, to meme there's coins. There's only 10 minutes left in the show. We're going to meme coins. Divorce we're going to Dad. Divorce Dad. Here we go. 
seventeen thousand dollar then you get the cap. house but the problem is that uh it is very concentrated top 10 holders are at 47 oh my god stay so. away from divorce but dad 17k you know this is a little bit of the thousand dollar market cap Seventeen thousand dollar market cap. holy hell <laughs> this is uh that's this is a red this is the reddest flag of all time look at tyrell divorce dad is a red flag <laughs> look at tyrell i mean this is another uh tyrell, okay. 1700 holders top 10 holders similar 37 percent uh hold the top 10 and this thing has given no Fs about all that reason that we have wow. for looking at these things. That's why it's hard. Ooh, Markel? All these just coming across Markle? my desk. 33,000 market cap. Absolutely disgusting. This just is launched. an absolute degenerate play. Yeah. Do not invest. Yeah. <laughs> red flag, Where's red a, flag. We got to look at Nick Token, though, because Nick. that's where their excitement is. It's on bird eye, bro. Uh, yeah. Well, I got. I, I like, choose rich every time. Okay. Here we go. That's the ticker. Is I choose oh rich. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. Dude, this oh. is your entry point. I got in on that big, on that red one. I know, and I was waiting to get uh, back down to this level. I didn't do it yet. I have it okay. loaded. I have it ready to go. Yeah. I am watching. Get if, in there. If this we is get a great this consolidation range, this range would be about thirty million dollar market cap too. That's like yeah. my target range. So DZ and I were talking, mm. and we think, oh, there's Hannah. Ugh. Unbelievable. Uh, That's the shot you want. Um, <laughs> DZ and I were talking. We think this Nick token is basically going to be like about two weeks. Yeah. Right. So he was on Dave Portnoy's show today. I think he's going to continue to make the rounds. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So just be prepared for that. This is not a long term hold. This yeah. is a Whoa. in and out Look at situation. This. I'm, all, I'm Get out. even like. Like, it might be even less than that. I don't know really? how long the hype cycle is going to last. But also, do you think that they could really just let this die? Or do you think, like, eventually it's going to come back and it's going to be hilarious? Of course they can let it die. Who knows? But am I going to tell the blockchain basement dwellers to, like, let it ride? No. 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 Make your be 50 safe. or 100% and get out. Yeah. yeah, for sure. In and out. That's the that's the right kind of tactic to have on meme coins. Yep. Now, um, yeah. We that's see a bullish Nick. chart, though. That's a really good chart. Look at this. The Trump on uh, ETH. I got to see uh trump on avalanche here because that one absolutely ripped i wonder where i can find here we go there it is let's see here go up top and this is how you can organize by chain right yeah. there so it shows avalanche maga my god it's just shit wow uh, we brought this up nice yesterday. little cup and handle there <laughs> okay uh wow I, and we were talking about the uh avax meme tokens were revving up for some action this is just some of the result of the AVAX tokens popping their head out. A lot of stuff going on. We got Cock Enu all over the place. Number one trending Bat on... Bat Tom says there's an entry point on Black Cock on Solana. Oh, good to know. <laughs> yeah. This is very wholesome. We, this should is we wholesome. look it up? You should Google that and see oh what comes up. Oh, my God. Up. I really... I don't think I should do that <laughs> on the live here. Cock um, Enu. Okay. Cock Enu. Much safer play uh, than the... This thing has a $400 million market cap. <laughs> this is the chaos that's going on right now. And like damn it. AVAX, right? <laughs> this is George's fault. Yeah, this is... George uh, did this. And this on Trader Joe. This is where you can find where to get it. Uh, Trader Joe right there. Yeah. God. Um, got out of my trip. Trepe absolutely is dead. Uh, let's see where Mog is. <sighs> Guys, we're degening out. This is this is irresponsible. What? This is, you know, this Mog's is chaos. Mog's sideways right now. Oh, Mog is side. I gotta That's get in. This is great. Hang on. Pull, oh, pull yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah. this is a good a little entry point I know. It's for not Mog. This is a you great entry point for Mog. And if you want to play showing... that game tonight, you just have to hold a little bit of Mog. That game it's, goes live. Yeah, it's, it's showing fantastic support. Mm. Like... For a meme coin, this is a bullish as hell chart. Yeah. It's at $336 million already. 12,000 holders. Hi. I mean, it's BRC 22. It is. It is. Yeah, there's a lot of things going for this thing. It might be actually a moment. Last time we faded Mog was... A lot of whales are buying and selling. I yeah, like it. Look at big, that. Big, big plays here. 13,000. You got dolphins. Up. And if you are on Dextool, this is how you can kind of differentiate quickly. They show shrimp, whales little dolphin move in there. They give you little logos, but yeah. you know, nice to see. I did see uh, something we need to call out on the hillbilly TA for DYDX. Yep. Um, just if you are, I get asked about DYDX a lot. So, you know, kind of the same thing as I was looking at Casper mm. yesterday. So there we go. Um, basically just a big differentiation between the uh, market cap and the price, but doesn't look as sick as Casper did yesterday. I did see just some uh, floating kind of a uh, FUD about this token. Doesn't look as bad as Casper, but a big difference in the market cap mm. to token value. So you just yeah. got to keep that in mind. Do you want to see someone that's really bad? Yeah. 
but is that I've actually made a good amount of money on it. What's Look up? Flow. Flow? Yeah. Let's go. Oh my god. So I don't know look what to at expect. the all. Bad. Okay. Look at the market. Now click on market cap. Um, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah. But it is moving. Yeah. And so if it, it's a mover, and so you can actually like trade this. Mm. I I was buying. Yeah, you're on the yearly. I was buying at forty cents, and oh, yeah. I had take profit levels hit time after time right after time. Right around here. Nice so, buy. This is not a long-term hold by any stretch of the imagination, but it has so mm -hmm. much upper momentum that it's a really nice short-term play. Okay. So flow. Okay. Uh, the last uh, mark, uh, last bull run, it got to like two dollars and thirty cents. Yeah. Uh, well, the, well, it wouldn't originally released. It was thirty-eight dollars. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So wait, they must have updated their. I didn't know I was that wrong. So, anyways, will it get to its previous all-time high? I don't think so. Probably not. Yeah. Probably not. But. It's probably a 10x from here. Yeah. So not a long-term hold, though. Get out of that in like three months. Yeah. And take profits, for God's sake. Please take guys. profits. And this is uh, just the study inflation, DYDX price versus market cap. Just a quick highlight. Someone else has taken on the Hillbilly TA with me. Nice. On uh, crypto Twitter. Good to see. Coco soaring. All-time high for Coco. Is this Coco. a meme coin? Uh, no, is this, this is the actual commodity this is Coco. chocolate. Yeah, this is chocolate. <laughs> So, this you know, is chocolate. Um, this is just down our path of hyperinflation. Can't wait till we're beating each other up for Bic lighters at the gas station. Thanks, Uncle Joe. Yeah. Um, here we have the Tate brothers arrested, but now they are released again. So things I don't give two shits about yeah. uh, the Tate brothers. It was kind of interesting. This woman, this chick, though, she's going to save America. This woman <laughs> is going to save America. Have you been following the whole thing about this yeah there's a model that came out and she's like you Sam sound like a dude samira khan mm -hmm. who is this like lebanese princess yeah said if any man thinks that this hannah girl is attractive you're gay yeah pretty much uh, called her a dude and yeah called her a dude and said that she's not feminine um she is she's a looker she's, she's a America's stunner sweetheart. she's she's a she's a show she's a show runner yeah uh, Look at the she, catfish. It's about a size of her. She is she her. is the uh she is the American ideal. Yeah. She's 27 years old, single, boys, get out there. Oh but God, that's imagine. actually insane. Look yeah. at that thing. She's Look, it looks like a bazooka. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she's noodling that catfish. And now everyone knows what noodling is. And she's also building her own house. See? With her dad. I know. Aww. And she did the video. She's it's like, yeah, amazing. we just built this and this. And everyone's like, you shouldn't be doing show, show the man's video. work. She needs more airtime. Guys, uh, yeah, this, we're going is, to Hannah. this is your summit woman. Okay. What's her last? Look, Hannah Barron. Bit. Let's see here. Oh, God. Hannah this is Barron. dangerous. This is no, dangerous. No, it's fine. W it name. I already oh, know she's God. based. Yeah, she's super oh, based. There she is right there. I know. Guys, it's, it's, it's everything. I mean, she hunts. She builds she houses. Hunts, she builds Noodling. houses. Look at the catfish. She's got traps. She's got delts. She's got Texas. it all, and someone this this idiot Samira her? Khan. I said I called her Timu Princess Jasmine. Mm. Said that that is not feminine, and uh, boys and girls, that is she's the picture of femininity. Oh God, here's the Baphomet. Yeah, just okay. stop it. You know they <laughs> just the, they can't stand her. She all right, just let yeah, let it stay on there. She's literally gonna save the country, and now yeah, she's I, great. I think that more and more uh, Hannah Baron. You know you can be feminine and shoot an arrow at the yes, same time and build it a house, and it's and, healthy. Yeah, p uh, uh, newsflash: like the whole thing about like stay at home moms. Just sitting around and popping depression pills right. and making cookies and watching after kids. That's only existed for like the past 50 years. Right. Because before that, the stay at home moms ran a small business. It yep. was called the home. Yep. You turn the butter, they slaughtered the chickens, they shot the coyotes, they made deals with the Native Americans. That's right. That was like, it was a whole thing to be an enterprising woman was to run a household which was a small business and you were part of the income stream as was your husband dude we need to try to get her on the show yeah, we need to try to get, to get her on, on the show. show i mean yeah we would love for hannah Barron to come on but like guys i just want you to understand and with ladies i want you to understand i want you to be empowered like your femininity your femininity is not bound by the things you do or the things you buy mm -hmm. it is bound by your character and how you implement them in the real world i think so. this is i think this is healthy for america to see this Absolutely. i think that this is healthy um just return the uh american tradition for god's sakes we have gone so far now cardi b is the influencer for our children we have yeah. gone so far Gross. It, do you want your wrong. daughters following cardi b no, or do you want them following i would following never listen to them i would hannah never Barron. let them listen no. as, a, as a fellow hannah yeah. hannah how do you feel about hannah Barron? 
I I would date her. You would date her? <laughs> Guys, hang on. Can we, can we get that again? I would date Hannah Barron. Whoa. There we go. Whoa. Clip <sighs> it. The internet is done. The internet is done now. We've just yeah. blown up the internet to Hannah's. Pretty much. Hannah squared. Hannah yeah. squared. H. No, it's Hannah cubed. Because you're Hannah oh, Hughes. My God. Add another Hannah. <gasps> Hannah cubed. H H H H H H H H. Oh wow. We're going catfishing. Guys, oh my God. you just heard it here first. Oh my God. Well, we got some other things I didn't get a, a chance to cover. The army is going to be using mixed reality in their headsets to combat units. Uh, this oh, don't year, worry, buddy. The Army's already been living in a mixed reality for the yeah. past 10 years. We'll have mech warriors and no problem hitting up Haiti. Yeah. Uh, Green Berets deploying to Taiwan to train the Taiwanese Army. Kyle Rittenhouse calling the ATF a joke because they are probably going to be the president someday and uh, Navy pilots. Yeah, we saw that. Yeah, yep. we did that one. So we covered it all. My God, there's a lot of stuff to 122 to do. likes. We did hey, really we well. did pretty good. And shout yeah. out to everyone out in the chat uh, down there in the Rumble, Two Bros Mining, Nicole M. Tate, Word Sister, up in the YouTubes, we got Sack Nasty Crypto after Dark Jeff, Space Native, Astro Magnus, Drew P Balls, Bob from Accounting Astro. Drew uh, P-Balls. My God, I like that yeah. name a lot. Uh, what a lovely day to be in crypto. This There's is some a great lovely show. opportunities. Still great opportunities. <sighs> the memes on Solana and AVAX, I think, are where I can turn 100 bucks into 10K right now. So really? I, I do yeah. feel like that. Um, just have to choose extremely risky biscuits, very low market caps to be able to do so. Now it's time to go hit the heavy bag to do some working out. Got to nice. go hit the gym. It's going to be great. I did a cold dip before the show. I think I'm going to keep doing it. Yeah. Oh, I, I think that. it was invigorating. Have they switched <laughs> out that water recently? I don't know, Nick. I don't Ooh. ask questions. Okay. I just, it was clear. I'm not, you know, worried about yeah. that. Hey guys, leave a comment on, <laughs> like comment on this video, not in the chat. Leave a comment. Tell us what you want us to cover here. D should we actually start doing firearms reviews on this channel? I think we should. <sighs> it would be fun. You can't responsibly own crypto without a Got, firearm. Uh, and drop a name of what we should name Hannah's new channel in the Discord so you mm. guys can talk with channel or with, with Hannah in the channel. Pictures will be turned off so you will yep. not be able to upload anything to Hannah's channel. <laughs> Correct. You sick Damn freaks. It. Correct. You sick freaks. Yeah. Um, but yeah, comment below on what we should cover on the channel. Also, subscribe to Blockchain Basement. We're almost at 50K. I thought it would be 50K by May. I think we can do it. Dude, it's moving. We need to cater to the newer crowd, too. We got a lot of people that are new to the channel. A lot that are of very newbies. Early. We love you. Yeah, we got to And we're going to see a lot of, you might think that there are simpler concepts coming out from the channel, but we got a lot of new people. Yeah. We got to give a good bellwether to a good compass. Yeah. So expect to see those. But it's time to work out. I love every single one of you. And we will see you on the other side. So you're at the top. Um, peace out. Wherever that's going to be. Yeah. Where's the top? I don't know. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's on the start end stream button. So. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>